they're good with balls and do well on the dance floor. But don't expect a robot army at Japan's damaged nuclear plant anytime soon. Especially not one with robots that look and act like humans. This robot takes about three years to develop, but compared to a human, it's just taking baby steps. For a robot to be able to work at Fukushima, we will still need further research and development. The hazy footage of the US-made robot, the Packbot, entering the Fukushima nuclear plant led many to ask where were Japan's own robots. Unlike in the US, in Japan it's prohibited to make military robots like the Packbot. But in a country with nuclear plants built on fault lines, some say the government has underfunded disaster robot development. It is uh, believed in Japan that the nuclear power plants will never uh, make such kind of accident. So that's why the Japanese government uh, did not invest uh, the uh, sufficient money. Outside the nuclear zone, Japan's robots have in fact been put to good use. Remote control backhoes, machines that can survey underwater, and mobile surveillance units like this one called Quince have been going places that humans can't. In a space of 40 square metres of rubble, it can get from one side to the other. And then there are also robots providing help to humans in a different way. We are using this robot to provide mental care to people who have been evacuated from damaged areas. As important a task as any for a robot in a disaster zone.